are you today? How was your last year? How was your Christmas? Did you spend your Christmas last year so happy? Or did you feel what I feel? Have you spent your Christmas with your family? Well, I have some questions. Why Christmas 2020 was especially difficult? Do you think what I think? Or do you really feel what I feel? Well, being physically and emotionally connected to others is vital to sustaining our mental well-being. But, 2020 was changed things drastically. We haven't been able to see family and friends. Many of us have been working from home and we've not able to do our usual social activities, right? COVID-19 has made life extremely hard for a lot of people and it's likely many of us won't be seeing family like we normally do. In order to protect from COVID-19 and help out others to survive, we had to disconnect from each other. Let's cope up with loneliness. Don't be afraid to speak up. Speaking to trusted friends, relatives, or co-workers about how you feel can often lift the weight of your shoulders and help you feel less isolated. The very act of starting by telling one person can set you on the right path. People who do feel others unwanted, it's time now to change your attitude. Let's not be selfish. In time, open our heart and mind can help people in need. Let's contribute our ears to listen, not only minding ourselves. Coping up with loneliness, we can say yes to other things. When we feel lonely, it can be easy to slip into the habit of saying no to social activities. Loneliness can make it hard to feel motivated or energetic. And the thought of seeing people can lead to anxiety. It's so sad. Saying yes to activities and building up your confidence 
Start picking up the phone and have a chat with someone you've been meaning to contact. Try not to hide behind social media connections too. Try not to always text but to talk instead. self-care is important loneliness can load to low mood anxiety and other health issues which can make day-to-day -day activities like showering scene impossible it's important to go easy in yourself and take things one step at a time make time for the things you enjoy like reading walking or doing exercise and give yourself a break if you need to do always remember that you're not alone no matter what you're going through it's essential to remember that you aren't alone. We can all play a part by smiling or saying hello to someone. Just always remember to stay socially distanced from people outside in your household and wear a mask where required to protect yourself and those around you from COVID-19. So think about people you haven't connected with for a while and make the effort to get in touch with someone. Someone may be struggling in secret and a quick chat can make a huge difference and make them happy. Well, this is Sue Fortin Ramirez. I want to say welcome 2021. Stay safe, be kind with your heart, and spread love peace and joy thank you so much